Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, we are going to look at two dimensional character array in C programming language. So let's begin. First, let's talk about why we require two dimensional arrays. Let's say I want to store the name of three students. What I will do? I will simply make one dimensional character array for three students. Let's say for student one, I will do, let's say the name is ABC, right? Then for another student, I will do, let's say the name is Hina, right? And for the last student, I will do something like Vicky, okay? Three names, okay? For three names, I'm using the three variables. Now let's say that I want to make the I want to store the 10 names or 100 names or 1000 names then I can't use the same format okay I, I it is not a good approach to write number uh, to make the number of variable to 1000 okay for example let's say I want to store the names of 100 students now what I will do I will write here then st4 st5 st6 st7 and so on okay similarly for taking the input I have to write this variable so this is not a good approach a better approach could be used here is that two dimensional character array right now to use two dimensional character array we write care then the name of our variable name let's say and then we use the two subscript right and whatever the initialization i want okay in the first script we write how many how many strings we required for example in the previous section we say that we required 100 students or 1000 students or 2 students or 3 students any number of students so how many strings are required let's say currently we require 2 strings okay and in this second subscript we write what is the size of each string okay maximum size of each string okay maximum size of each string and here we write number of number of string required okay so currently we require two string and let's say the maximum size could be let's say 10 okay here we do the initialization let's say the first string is wiki right and the another string is say sandeep let's say okay so these are the two string here now these strings belongs to name 0 right and this string belongs to name 1 okay so let's say i want to print wiki then what i will do i will do printf of percent s and name 0 okay so here the output will be wiki and if i want to print Sandeep here then I will write name 1 okay then same here and the output here will be Sandeep right let's say there is another string let's say there is there was three number of strings are three then I can also make additional string let's say a b c right and initialize it also then to access this string now I will use name 2 okay so print that string i will write here name 2 and it will now give me a b c now let's see what is happening in the memory when i am using the two dimensional character array okay so here i had written name 2 6 that means number of strings are 2 and maximum length of each string could be 6 right so a contiguous memory location is given to our variable we can say name okay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These 6 will belong to name 0. Right? And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. These 6 we can say belongs to Q, uh, name 1. Right? So when I am initializing it, what happening here is that B, I, K, Y, and slash 0. Then this space is empty. Okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. 6 spaces belongs to name 0. And then n, i, c, k, y, and slash 0. 
okay now this array has some base address now to access the base address we can simply write name let the base address be 1442 okay and the next address will be 1443 why because it is a character type and character is a one byte right so it will increment by value of one okay so 43 44 45 46 47 and this will be 48 1448 so the point here is that name one let's say if i write here printf of percent u and write name one then it will give me the address 1448 right and here if i do here printf of percent u with name 0 it will give me the address of 1442 okay so what happens when i write printf of percent s let's say name 0 we already know that but when we are using percent s it takes an address and it will keep on printing until it encounters the slash 0 character so name 0 now pointing to this address now it will keep on printing itself let's say 1442 whatever is present there then whatever is present in this contiguous memory blocks okay so it will keep printing v i k y then it will encounter slash 0 and it will terminate okay similarly for if there is 1 then now name 1 is pointing to the address 1448 so it will keep printing from this location until it encounters the null character so here it will print n i c k y another thing is that name 1 is giving me the address of the second array right but here if i do name 1 plus 1 then which address it will be pointing it will be pointing to i okay or let's say 1449 okay you can check out the pointers arithmetic video in which I had talked about what happens when we increment or decrement an address, right? So now it will be pointing to this address, right? And then let's say if I write here printf of percent s name 1 plus 1, right? So now what will happen? The address here is that 1449 so it will start printing from this location so right now the output will be i c k y okay and will not be printed now let's say i want to print a particular character of a particular string okay let's say that i want to print here k right so if we see here that the index of v is 0 then i is 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 and then 5 okay now we are taking the index with reference to this name 0 okay so here for accessing v i can write name 0 and 0 okay similarly if i want to print here let's say i okay so now the reference will be taken according to the name 1 okay so its location will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay or we can write something for n i can write name 1 0 okay first string 0th character okay or let's say here if i want to print k then i will write name 0 that means 0th string or first string because the indexing starts from the 0th okay so the first string and the number of character is 0th first and second so i'll write here 0 2 okay and if i write here with the percent c it will give me with printf it will give me the character k okay similarly if i write here if i want to fetch y let's say then which string it is first string okay then i'll write name one and what is the character here let's say zero first second third and fourth so i will write here four so this will give me the value as y so we can say that here to access v we can write name 00 then for i 01 then for k 02 and so on and similarly for accessing any character of other string we will write 10 11 12 and so on okay one point to note here is that when i write printf of percent u name 1 okay then it will give me the address of this location which means it will give me output as 1448 right now if i write here let's say end of name 10 okay and i am 
doing the same thing percent u okay print f right so here if we see that name 10 is located here okay and what is its address it is equal to this address which is 1448 so it will also give me the same address 1448 okay another thing is that end of name 1 end of name 1 will also give me the same result 1448 okay so always remember that when i am doing let's say i we write here printf of percent s and then here name 1 okay to print the nick key okay so here we can either write name 1 or end of name 1 or end of name 1 okay all these three will be print the nikki string here same thing is applicable for the first string here i can write name 0 name 0 will give me the address which will be 1442 okay or end of name 0 0 then it will give me same address 1442 and here also it will give me 1442 okay and here i will can access using name 0 or end of name name 00, 0 or end of name 0 okay we generally prefer this method why because during the loop it is much easier to print entire string okay first i will i will write name 0 then increment the i with 1 okay so it will print the next string then again i will increment by 1 then it will print the any other string if it exists right along with this when we are talking about the first string note that the name will also give me the same result okay it is only applicable when we am talking about the base or first string okay so name points to the base address and base address is equal to the name 0th address or it is equal to the end name 00 or end of name 0 okay so it will also give me here 1442 right so, so these are the points that you should keep in mind when you are solving the numericals regarding two dimensional character array now let's talk about how to take inputs when we are using two dimensional character array let's say i had defined a two dimensional character array with name 2 and 6 okay so there will be two string and each string will be six character long right so we know that when we use scanf percent s then in this location i have to write some address right so here i can write name 0 okay or we can also write here end of name 0 okay or name we will not prefer name because it is generally used when we are talking about the base address of array okay although it is right but just don't prefer it when we are using it okay and we can also write name of 0 0 okay and so any of this method could be used okay similarly let's say i am this was for first string first string okay then i am taking the input for second string then i can write here name 1 or end of name 1 or end of name 1 0 okay 0 because we are taking the input from the 0th location right now let's jump to the problem that we discussed in very beginning of this video that what if i want to store the names of the 100 students now how many students i require is 100 and let's say the name is maximum length of a name could be let's say 10 okay so a general way then writing storing the names could be in i equals to 0 i less than 100 and i plus plus and i'll write here scanf of percent s and name i okay that's all so what happening here is that first of all name i will be 0 so whatever will be the input will be stored in name 0th okay then the next input will be stored in name 1 okay note that the as soon as i press the enter button the string whatever i am giving input will be appended with slash 0 okay we we do not give it explicitly it automatically append the string with the null character okay another thing same thing could be used for printing the string okay instead just scanf i'll write here printf then it will take the 
it will print our all our string whatever we had given okay another thing is that instead of using scanf we can also use here gets okay just like we saw in our previous string video that gets and puts are also we used when we are talking about the strings okay so gets can also be used with the same rule for writing here okay for addresses now let's talk about what happens during the overlapping of a character from one string to another string right so let's say there is a two dimensional character array let's say the number of elements are two and let's and each string could be of length four okay and then I take the input let's say scan f percent as name one or zero first and then name one okay same thing here scan f now first when we are defining here the character two dimensional character array a memory block is given to it okay two three four this will belong to let's say name zero okay these four blocks and then one two three and four these two blocks will belong to a uh, name one right so now let's say i take the in the first array we i write a b c okay then slash zero ultimately automatically it will come then in the next scan f i'll write let's say d e f and slash zero by its default okay now if i print here printf of percent s name zero it will simply give me the output as a b c okay and although and also if we write here printf of percent s name one it will give me output as d e f right no problem in that now let's say in the name zero when we are taking input i give it t v w f g okay i give the input as this string t v w f g now what will happen here it will write t then v w then it will bypass this location f bypass this location okay then g and then it will write slash zero right now what happens is that a character of a string okay had overlap the location of another string okay this happens because there is no bound checking we had talked about the bound checking in previous videos you can look at that okay so right now if i write here if we print the output here so it will give me the output as now percent s will take the input as address so it will take the address of this location okay and it will keep on printing until it encounters the slash zero null character okay so it will print here t v w f g right and then it will stop because it is encountering null character okay now what will be the output of this name one okay so now what will happen we know that name one is pointing to this location so now it will start printing from this location it will print zero and it will encounter the null character right so its output will only be z g okay so this is the point that we should always remember that a character of one string a character of one string can overlap the location of another string okay and the output will vary according to the given input so always remember when we are using the two dimensional character array don't bypass this location okay bypass from bypass i mean that let's say the previous string was d e f and here was slash zero okay even if i now give it the input as four character let's say i give the input as t v w and then g okay so what will happen t v w g and it will uh, scan f when i press the enter button then it will append the null character here okay so here now out output will be t v w g t v w g and now see when the name one will see this location it will first it will encounter this null character in its beginning so here no output will be shown okay so this is the very important point that one should remember various questions are asked in many examinations so always remember this point and that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see you in the next video